Hey guys and welcome back to another Springfield build, this time doing a comic book store and first off we're just going to use our dark green wall and we're just going to place two blocks and then we're going to leave a space of three one, two, three, four, five so this will be our fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen and I I think that may be the end, and I think it's actually 22 in total, so it'll be 5. Twenty-two in total, and then we're just gonna drag it down the side, so that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and I think we're gonna make it 15. And then turning it around, dragging it all the way back, uh, and obviously copying the other side, uh, dragging it to the same space. So we end up with 15 blocks down the sides and 22 on the front and back, and that is our base for the start. Now we're going to use our light blue stained glass to go in the gap, obviously leaving the one in the middle for our door itself. Now guys, this building does end up quite high. As you can see, as I'm going to lay the window, we are going to leave a space of two on each side, uh, in between the door frame and the actual outside of the wall. Now, like I say, this is going to end up quite high. We're going to lay another layer on top of there, that'll be four. But like I say, this is a simple build, and the problem with a simple build is it can become very, very easily mistaken for what it is. So I like to change it up and uh, make it bigger just to really make it stand out a little bit more so as we see guys we've got lime green uh, lime green clay in the middle as our building filler and then as we go to the outsides of our building we start using our darker green clay um, as pillars going up the sides of the building almost like a frame like the same on Mo's um, you sort of use it as a frame to go around the outside and like Moe's, it is going to end up a tall building because the most simple builds end up having to be quite big because you really need the features to stand out to make sure that it looks like the building is supposed to be. So I'm going to shorten this side and make it two lime green uh, on the inside there to follow suit in between the door and the glass on the other side. So we've now gone up four blocks in windows, one uh, two more blocks on top of that as lime green clay and obviously using our green clay on the outside as frames and then we're going to start using our purple and white wool just to start really making our uh, marquee I don't know if that's what you would call it a marquee or is that a completely different thing either way we're just going to start going across the top marking it out so we've got our hood on the front of the shop and I'm actually going to pull this out free. Originally I only done it two, uh, but because the build is quite big, I thought it'd be best to go to three and start going up in layers. Like sudden so on the next row it'll be two, and on the next row it'll be the closest one to the wall. I don't know how it ended up being free. Normally I wouldn't go this far out, but I just for some reason I just went with what I felt, and that's what I've stuck with. Anyway guys, this is quite a quick build, um, I was saying earlier to someone else, one of my subscribers, it is actually quite a simple build. Um, after this one we're going to get onto the police station, I do want to get a, uh, a regular show uh, project build done as well. Um, also I want to try and get a Radiator Springs one done, um, but uh, I want to try and get the, the regular show. For some reason that really doesn't stick in my brain, but I'm going to try and get another build done for that uh, quite soon uh, because that was a request uh, before I ended up with no internet for a little while. So I want to try and get that done. Uh, I want to, like I say, try and get back, I'm going to get onto the police station on this one. Really struggling to get my words out tonight. It's as if I've had a bread ball or something, but I haven't. And there you go guys, I've pyramid, you know, sort of gone up in an angle, one at a time. And I'm going to knock away this one that's closest to the wall, and then I'm going to move it up one. So it would go from two to two, and then one on top 
on the last row. So as I'm going to drag it back now, I'm going to start copying my top layer. So when you look from the outside, it is actually angling itself up gradually. Now guys, I really do have to get this map really uh, touched up. Really need to fill it in with some trees, some sort of street decoration, some lamps. Um, get around, start filling in some gaps. Really want to do another uh, lard lad, but a really big one to make it look, you know, spot on. Uh, because I'm really not happy with that. And every time I go past it, I just it just really makes me want to do another one, just to really get it looking sharp. So guys, I'm going to add a layer for now uh, to the window. Um, purely just because I'm trying to sort of find the depth for myself that I'm happy with. I've taken my door up an extra one. Uh, I may change it again, either down or up. I'm just really trying to find what works for me. So I'm going to build one more layer up on top of where we've just done our hood to the front. Uh, so we can get ready to start putting a cap on the top. So I'm running across with my now green clay all the way across the top. And that will now leave room for our sign to go in the middle. And I'm just going to use white stained clay. And I'm going to do two layers. And I'm going to leave, I'm going to start on the fourth block in. So I'm going to leave one, two, three, and then on the fourth, run across and do exactly the same till this end, leaving a three on the end. And then just doing that extra layer. Now I wasn't going to struggle to put in the words, because as you can see, this building is already massive enough. I wasn't going to struggle typing in Android and whatever else. And I'm just going to knock out this layer just because I want to see what it looks like with the lime uh, green. And I'm not so sure. We'll come back to it. So anyway, now it's all about building up this side of the building. We're going to get it right up. And we're just going to build it up, filling in all the gaps. We don't have to put no windows in, no doors. So it's quite nice and simple it just literally is filling in uh, all the way up to the top and making sure that you use the the green clay on your very last layer blocking it in and obviously down the sides of the back as well now in the simpsons this building would be attached to a building either side but personally i was looking through the pictures and i thought we'd go with a tapped out version really because it gives me more freedom of where i can move it what i can do with it and how big I could make it and sometimes it's really hard to sort of conform to what's already built uh, like you will notice whether a few of these builds like the quickie mart I went bigger but I felt the sign was more important to that build with Moe's the building was big purely because it worked for having them angles across the top of the, uh, the roof itself and then you'll find with other buildings as it gone along some have actually become smaller uh, really because there's no use for them to be big the first time I built this it was actually only 18 blocks on the front and only 10 blocks down the side the reason I made it that little bit bigger is because I didn't want anyone complaining about having size inside to put a couple of you know shelves up or make it look really the way it is and there is one thing I have forgot with the comic book store and it's one of them things that did just sort of bounce into my brain as we were doing this video now and that is the secret room at the back um, you don't very see it often but it has popped into my head that we could have done it uh, maybe we could do an extension on the back maybe another time uh, but for now I'm going to keep it the way it is uh, it's nice, it's simple, it was a quick build it was something I could just put on tonight even though it is quite late and then knowing that we could get onto the police station and concentrate on that one Now I am finding every time I take a break from doing the videos, like this time I had no choice, it was with the internet, um, every time I come back my style changes and it's very hard to snap back into what was actually a habit which you made every day. Where I've had to take the week off, I always find myself a little bit lost. Now guys, the reason I've done this and put it one in is because on the tapped out version, obviously the dark green is a frame and also the building is very tall 
So even if we double layer that ceiling so it's done on the inside as well, uh, and we make it say two blocks thick, uh, we actually then lose three blocks rather than just the two. I'm trying to shrink it back down for on the inside. Now guys I won't do the inside with you, what I will do is show you what I'm going to do because um, I will let use uh, glowstone inside uh, rather than go up into the roof like I do with so many builds I'm actually just going to put it in, put certain feet down and then cover with carpet so basically if you're going to put in a till um, or a counter you put the counter in and then you would run um, say your glowstone around it and then carpet around it so obviously because you're not using that block then it gives you the freedom to actually carpet over the top rather than have uneven ground and it's just not worth it really so we're going to go have a look at this window um, no that doesn't work for me it's a bit higher the door's looking a bit odd um, I think I'm going to have to take away the top layer of the door uh, put back in the bottom layer of the window uh, it's always the case, I I just got to check, <laughs> just in case. Um, like I say, I've already built this once, but the last time it was smaller. Um, it looked okay, you know, it looked good. But the problem with the small one is that we didn't have the room on the inside. Personally, I don't care. I, I don't think I'm going to go through all these buildings doing all of them. Um, it's more important to me just to have the map to look like it. Um, but at the same time it would be nice to try and keep them as usable as possible so as you can see I've gone back down to now four layers of glass block uh, for the front window and I've now taken the door down to this four layers um, for me that works better so I'm just going to use iron bars and I'm going to come out from the wall twice and I'm going to use both blocks on there so it gives it an angle but it's also, it's not quite the diagonal it should be, but at the same time, it does go together quite nicely, rather than it all sticking out spiky, uh, you know, like a chandelier sort of thing. So I'm now just going to punch in underneath the windows here, chuck in the blue wall, uh, so I know the door will go in, because obviously you can't use carpet where the door is going to go and you can't use carpet where the glass is so guys I'm just going to run around really quick just put in some glowstone just really to say look this is what I'm doing um, I'm not going to go all the way through it otherwise it will make the video much longer I really wanted to make this video much quicker keep it simple and hopefully get through more builds get Springfield done and hopefully get some of you on board to help we we'll get a lot of the map done ready for release very soon so you go guys I'm going to use my glowstone um, really you can use it as much as you want uh, the only problem you're going to have is say like when you're going to use a counter or you're going to do yourself a bookshelf and you want to use say a sign to on the side of a steps to make it look more like um, a shelf holding something or like what I would call a newspaper stand or a bookshelf for me, for me personally um, obviously then you're going to have to use a block of wall uh, purely so that it's not uneven uh, not so much uneven but obviously you can't use the same block that you've already put a sign in even though they're not or they shouldn't conflict they obviously do so there you go guys just so I know there's plenty of light in the building using the glowstone and then my blue carpet over the top um, for the front window I'm just going to use my jungle steps and I'm going to turn around to the front and I'm going to start running it all the way across like that uh, trying to make sure I don't go past the window uh, so I've got another three to go and then I'm going to step behind that put a block a uh, jungle block and then on top of that block I'm going to put another stair all the way across the side like so and now I know the windows lit up because it's underneath the carpet in the front of it uh, I'm now going to use my sign and I'm just going to put it straight on the sides 
just to make it look like it's more of a, you know, more held in towards a window. Uh, obviously guys, you could push this one closer so it starts from the window. Um, this is just really just a, a quick idea of what I'm going to do or how I would do it myself personally. And like I say, you can't use your carpet directly where you've used the sign. So you'd have to knock that away and then use your blue wall. And although it will be one square down, it's better than all of it being around. And obviously, you're going to want to put in your counter as well. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. We will be back very shortly.